see where the rear sway bar would come into play right now. Keep that left front down. That's James over there with three wheels, an amazing driver right there. Snap that Vanquish CV right out the box. When in doubt, just hold full throttle. Bomber at the hangar. <laughs> <laughs> Got a busted link under here. Kind of hard to see. It's there. Just take a picture.
show you how easy if it was they were working, we'd have got up that easy. Yeah, I only got three wheels and I have no suspension. <laughs> Busted link under there, just hanging and swaying on the float. Front right tire is not spinning. Why creep when you can do that? <laughs> <laughs> Putting the test and test drive, Highway 1 RC. Damage report on this, uh, broke the sway arm, busted a front link. Um, Lost front, the front drive shaft. Front drive shaft snapped completely off. Um, what else? Um, yeah, she's pretty much, much done. See her? So she's lifting out of here. Gotta throw him that front steering though. <laughs> that front steering. Hey you guys, I hope you like that. That was round one of the test drive of the Axial Bombers. Man, it was one hell of a day. As we uh, make our way towards round two, we wanted to take the time to tell you guys we had a whole layout of talking about what happened but we lost track with all the brakes we had and uh, me and Jay wanted to break it down with you guys how the first day of uh, the Axial Bombers went. Jay tell them how, what you thought of that day man. It was a very fun day, exciting day, some may say expensive day for some of those bombers out there yesterday. Um, as you see a couple of those were upgraded, the Castle Slate system which puts out a lot more torque and power than a stock setup. And even some of those rigs had Vanquish products in them and upgraded stuff, and it still snapped those within three minutes of driving. So it just goes to show that you up the power, you up the ante and brake and other stuff, and you know, just putting more, putting more power through the rig, it's gonna come out somewhere. So just keep that in mind. And just like Jay's saying, it, it just shows that's true that uh, the more stock the vehicle is, the, the the less vulnerable your vehicle is to braking. You know, um, we're having a lot of fun driving custom rigs, stock rigs, and the more stock our vehicles are, the more we can really bash them. Even though we're not bashing, we're crawling, you still take tumbles and falls pushing these vehicles to the limits. With that said, man, um, on an inventory of what we broke on, on the bomber me and Jay drive, uh, we broke a front link, 
uh, front drive shaft. Uh, pulled the mo um, wires on the servo, but the servo is still working. Um, we busted our fourth sway bar, but what was beautiful, building the truck back up last night, it took four sway bars to make one sway bar. So Tyson's still alive. Yeah. And we're going into round two, and we're going to a beautiful place right now. We're actually heading to it right now. Jay, tell them where we're going. Going to Bean Hollow Beach, Pebble Beach, in Pescadero, California. Right off Highway 1 here, next to the Pacific Ocean. Yeah, beautiful drive. Just just the, the drive alone is worth it. I recommend anyone vacation here in California coast. With that said, we hope to see you guys on the trail. Take care.